Yo, what up guys, Lil Casino coming at you with another episode what of is the Geek sound? Art in Death. And today I have two guests with me. I have I like them. your good friend Eric and hey. our new guy, Austin. What up though? So, we've got some cool art to go over this week. Th -th 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 Cannot thunder. wait. Okay, now learn how to speak. are going to come up with next. So, guys, how you doing today? Man, I'm doing great. Doing how great. are you? I'm, I'm, I'm a little I jumpy. Am, uh... I feel like I'm jumpy. My hair might be standing on end, you know, well, but it's all good. Hair. A little static. Yeah. I think because I'm so hyped, I should drink a little Mountain Dew. Oh, now I have to drink a Oh, man. That'll help. <laughs> wired, man. Too. The Mountain Dew's got you wired. All the time. Although, then again, it's not really mine, dude. It's generic, so. <laughs> same thing, man. Same thing. It is not the question, same. Question. All right. So, you guys know these guys. Make sure, go follow them on their social media Subscribe. platforms because they have some really good art. But speaking of, let's get to the first piece. I'm not Kane. Kane. Coming from our good friend, Carl Davies. <sighs> I love it so much. And uh, anyone who's uh, just uh, wondering, one thing about Kane, he's getting all fame, so good time, uh, Carl D. Yeah. Yes. Did you hear it that is. The Undertaker showed up to his show to tell him that he was being induced into the Hall of Fame? Inducted, you mean? Yes. Well, you know, I mean, we have self induced over here, so. I think that's yeah. true. <laughs> <laughs> that that's awesome but yeah like but i think somebody said the undertaker actually like showed up in full get up to kane's show just so that he could you know give him the invitation <laughs> i'll have to look that up and see because that'd be pretty pretty dope to see but yeah i seen the phone call kane almost cried so i almost cried what you you <laughs> said last week kane's your favorite favorite uh oh. character Oh yeah, all time. Kane is awesome. He is all time. He is. Um, but dude, like Carl's got him down. Like, look at how good he looks. Oh, oh yeah, that's Kane for sure. He, he looks coming from he, the hell He looks but... demonic, and that's what Kane is. He is a demon. That's for sure. I like how he did his eye. His eyes like real. It's got his uh, Kane's paled out eye. I like how he made the suit look cool because honestly, like I don't usually like this suit of Kane's, and he's uh, actually made me really want this. Like I totally put this up on my little uh, wrestling wall that I have. Yeah. So. Same. You know, I don't know, like the little flames behind it. Yeah, the flames do look really good. Um, no, that's why'd you click See, off? See, my thing with Kane was I show. liked him when he had the red suit. Um, not not the full like not his original suit, like his uh, his like two thousands era red suit where like it was partially see through. It still had the flames coming up the chest. It was just a tank top, and that's what this reminds me. Oh yeah, of. that's what this reminds me of. That's why I like this. Yeah, this is great. So good job, Carl. Yeah, dude, Keep I love it. Wrestling. Every wrestling piece he does is just pure gold. Oh, yeah. I Man. feel like I don't see enough people doing wrestling art like this. I used to do wrestling art a lot of it. I actually have a signed art piece that I did by uh, from Edge. Of Edge? Oh, no. wow. Dude. It even that great, it's when I first started getting into art, but like I drew him and I was going down to WrestleMania that weekend and I was like, I gotta get him to sign it, that'd be so awesome, so why not? But I'll have to post that one of these days. I'd love to see it, man. Yeah, you need to get on that, buddy. <laughs> Alright, so the next piece we're going to look at is from Alejandro Rodriguez, he was posted uh, yesterday. He uh, has uh, Doma from One Piece, and I am a fan of One Piece. I have not gotten 
to uh, this part, at least I don't remember these characters, but he did do a really good job at uh, capturing that art style. And um, really quick, if I could just add, um, Alejandro, I see your comment here um, that you've made. Uh, don't worry about that stuff, man. You're doing really good. This is, like, awesome. So, like, don't sell yourself short here. We're all here to build each other up. So uh, keep working good. Like, want to see more from you. This is great. Awesome. You got any so, thoughts? Yeah, so I actually like this because I just started One Piece. So I'm just now getting into the art styles and everything. And I think and One Piece seems like it's real simple. It's not like anything too crazy. It's at least where I'm at right now. So yeah. this right here is real simple and it and it works. You know, I think it looks good, but like Eric said, don't sell yourself short. No matter no matter how good you are at art like as far as anything that you do like always leave yourself room to grow and you got room to grow and you can do that and this looks good like you got your shading on the skin tone and everything it looks good i think of course everybody could be better but i think it works i like it i agree it's great i agree you know and here's the thing uh alejandro when it comes to art everybody's different what I see, though, is I see some really clean line work. I see really good shading and good coloring. Um, whereas I don't know one piece specifically, I know what to look for. And this is good art to me. I like it. Keep it up. Don't beat yourself up. All right. Let's see what's next. And we're going to look over Adam's piece next. And uh, we're going to start off with this Raditz. And uh, that Super Is it Super Saiyan God Raditz? It's Super yes. Saiyan God Raditz. Yeah. The guy so, who's weaker than a Cyberman as a god. So I like it. So, okay. So, yeah, you got that. But I think this, I think, I think it looks good. You know, the line works and all the progress pictures that he posted. I think it looks really good. I think if you're going to go with the God Raditz, though, you got to put it in, like, this era. If you think of fighting Goku and Piccolo and little baby Gohan back then, Raditz would smash this. Yeah. Like, and like this, this really <laughs> is beautifully done. It's awesome. It is. I think it's, I think it's really well done. I'm looking at it. It's clean all over. I never envisioned I'd see Raditz as a Super Saiyan God, so you know, props for the imagination there. I like it. Yeah, but you know what? The thing is with Raditz, Raditz was such an underused character who had so much potential being Goku's brother. Like, I, I could fully imagine Raditz have going the distance, but that's because I'm such a huge fan of, like... And he does, like, a full you what if Raditz turned turn, turn good... And it's great, but I think I've actually passed by that. I need to watch it and listen to it. It's really good. Is it really is. Same, uh, huh? Is he the same? Did the uh, Did he do if Vegeta was good? Uh, Vegeta. Well, he does a what if Vegeta never turned good. Um, he's done a lot of what ifs oh. with the characters. He's done a lot of what ifs with the characters, but he was the main voice of Goku. In uh, the Team Four Star dub, the Dragon Ball Z abridged. Right. Right. Yeah, I know who he is. But uh, you know, the biggest thing I have to ask right now, though, with this with this picture, is if Raditz is Super Saiyan God, what is that farmer made out of? Because he just survives everything, doesn't he? <laughs> oh yeah. He 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 survived Raditz. He shows up during the Cell games. I think he showed up during the Boo Saga. Like, <laughs> nobody can take out this farmer. <laughs> or his truck. Truly. He's the goat, He's the goat with Ford. the goats, man. Oh my gosh, my marijuana patch. <laughs> team 4. <laughs> Hashtag oh, Team 4 star. <laughs> Bring it back. Bring it back. Yes, I want to see Boo Saga. But, There's so many good things I could see happening. <laughs> you uh, did a great job here, man. Like, yeah. 
and uh, keep bringing us uh, imaginative pieces because that's pretty dope. I do. Yeah, dude, Adam, you know, I I love your stuff, man. Um, it's always unique. It's always really good. Like great shading, great coloring. Uh, your textures are on point, and I can't say enough good things about it, man. No, you're so, not supposed to see that. Let's go ahead. Oh, God. Why? Why, let's Brandon? Why are you piece. doing that? See who Fix else it. Has Hurry up. Cool what are you doing? Today. Fix it now. Fix it. And no. oh, coming at go. us with the Dr. Doom. Brad Register. Look at the detail in this black and white. Like, you get such depth out of this. now. Let's see. Like, I... Like okay, so guys, feel 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 free to jump in on this one, but I'm sitting here. I'm like looking at the face. I'm looking at you can at how detailed he is with the pop rivets. You can see the intensity in the eye, even though it's the only part of his face you really see. I saw you. I look at this, and I feel doomed. I feel like I'm doomed. I feel like Dr. Doom is going to end me right now. Like, it's freaking nice. It's real nice, Brad. Oh, yeah. 100%. I love how it's done with pencil, awesome. I'm imagining. Looking at. That would be my guess. Maybe I maybe some I maybe some charcoal pencils? I don't, maybe... Definitely graphites, though. No, either no, I way, think it's definitely graphite. Either way is dope, and I don't have the patience or time to do anything like that with a pencil, just one pencil. That that is a the lot shading of stuff. shading and blending. It really is. Yeah, it looks good. It's a lot. It. But even being in pencil, I mean, you have a great metallic feel. Which is hard to get oh, with yeah. pencil. Because usually it comes out too soft. Yeah. Um, this ain't that's fun. what I'm saying. I, mean, like, this I don't dude, have the patience to do none of that. <laughs> this, this dude definitely looks like he's ready to take the thing and throw him through a building, though. I, no joke. Or, I mean... <laughs> I'll be that guy to talk about the old, you know, Fantastic Four movies. Not, not the, not the absolutely terrible one that was a remake, but the original ones. You know, <laughs> stealing Silver Surfer's, yeah. you know, board. <laughs> yeah, I like the first one, the first Fantastic Four from like what two thousand four or something like that. Probably something like that. The one who actually had a hot, you know, Fantastic or uh, Miss Invisible Girl. Oh my God, slapped me in the face. Was, uh, yeah, Jensen Alba. Yeah. Everybody remembers that one. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and, then, and it's not because the she had to strip her clothes off to turn invisible. It had nothing to do with it at all. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. <laughs> Let's not kid ourselves. Yes, it was. <laughs> hmm. <Boy> anyway. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. <laughs> anyway, Brad. Great work. I love it. Um, dude, you do some awesome work. Keep it up. I'd like to see some more stuff from you. I haven't seen as much lately. Right. See some more from Brad. Yeah. All right. And the next piece we have is Daniel Rios. And uh, I think Eric uh, has something to say about this. Daniel. This is so beautiful. I understand how you always create these absolute gorgeous pieces, every single really one, and they're so, you. like, I'm looking at them, they seem so simple, and that's what I love about them. Like, I, I don't even know what to say. I'm looking at the town doom, and I just, I want to be there with it. I want to sit down next to it. And if it would pet me and let me be its Pokemon master, I would hope. Like, I, I'm dreaming about nothing else but right now while I look at this. Like, seriously, it's amazing. I'm not even. I'm not even joking right now. I 
pretty much. Uh, yeah, really good stuff, man. Really, really great. It, awesome. So I'm going to do this. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. That's five seconds. I guarantee you that's how long it took this man to do this. <laughs> and it still looks amazing. And I'm not even going to spend no time on this man because what's the point? Like, he's already there. So funny. I had to laugh. <laughs> like, you don't even need to say anything. In a little bit of time, it's taken us to talk about his piece of art here. He's already done five more paintings or drawings or whatever man. he does. Man. <laughs> like... Daniel, you know we we hate the fact that you're so good, and we're not we're not that fast as you. <laughs> Man. Like <laughs> I've never life with like a whole different kind of envy right now. I, I know. Like I'm sitting there. Incredible. Do you, I did my I did my painting last week, right? I had to time myself. And I'm like. Man, it took me 30 minutes to do this painting. Daniel probably had this done in like 10 minutes. <laughs> right. Man. Every time. Fastest artist since Bob Ross. Dude, I want to see him do a Bob Ross. Do a like Bob. This? Daniel, I want to see a Bob Ross follow along. Get it. Get it. <laughs> yeah, do a marker. Do a marker. Like, because you're. <laughs> He's a wizard of those art markers, like alcohol markers. Yeah. Well, like, you look gotta at have how he at did least the sky around this house, dude. Look at how freaking beautiful that sky is. It's, <laughs> like, there's so many layers through it, but you know he just whipped it out like, boom. Yeah. How <sighs> yeah. Doom is one of my absolute favorite Pokemon, though, so I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm in love with this piece. Yeah, I, I want it. I do. I really do. I can't afford it. No, I can't either, but I can sit here and I can Google my eyes over it. Goo goo gaga. Let's do it. I'm going to eye <laughs> thing it. I still don't know. <laughs> so, this next piece we have here is Jim Williams. This is absolutely beautiful. Uh, it looks like the original character is named Blue Fire. I'm not sure if that's correct, but she is gorgeous. Now, I don't know about you guys, but the first thing that I see in this piece clearly is the butterfly that she is holding. And it is so nicely done, very elegantly placed, right on her finger. And put myself in the scene here. I feel like she's among a huge field of flowers. And see that in the background. Just very well done. I, I like Jim Williams' style, too, a lot. I do, too. Yeah, I, I noticed the butterfly, too. That was the first thing that was the butterfly. We love butterflies. That was the only thing that I seen. <laughs> Yeah, that, but that no, yeah, it's great. The, I the, love the bones. I love how you can see through it. That that was the first thing I, I saw when when I when I looked at this photo. Um, was the butterfly? Yeah, me too. <clears throat> you know, it, it wasn't the fact that you know you could completely see not just you know everything along her in her body. But literally the bones coming through her body, which is a really cool effect, honestly, you know. Yeah. Like I'm I, I know I've seen these concepts before, but it's always so neat. Different interpretations. Um and this is just beautiful because you have real good dark shading to the bones to come through. So you get the form of the bones. But then he's got this great shading, you know, to the body itself, which gives you depth and and the texture, which is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, I like the flowers too behind it. I like how they're not too vibrant. I like how they match up with the the paleness of the picture. They don't pull away. That's that is a great. Yeah. Um, 
But, you know, I mean, Jim, you, you did some great things here. I mean, the hair looks like hair. It doesn't look like string. It doesn't look like random lines. It looks really clean. It looks really well done. Her face, like, you can see the absolute interest in the butterfly, which, yes, the butterfly looks really, really well done. And it's all really well detailed and put together. And it makes just for a great beautiful piece um so i don't i don't know what you guys are getting off of this but when i'm looking at this picture i feel like she's looking at this butterfly in a completely different way than you would think she would be looking at it like i think dark things when she's looking at this butterfly just because of how the character looks if i was just if i was to just look at this art and break it down not knowing who or what it was that's what i would get like I could see that. Like sucking the color out of everything. I could see that, you know, because maybe she's like um, like a figure of death, you know. You th- death yeah. figures are dark, brooding, and she's looking at this like, all I've ever known is this darkness, and then here's this butterfly, which is something of beauty, and she doesn't understand it. I could kind of see that. Yeah, that's beautiful. I love it, though. I'd get that tattooed, probably. I can see it as a tattoo. Yeah. Trail. Yeah. <laughs> sure. yeah. Any other comments on uh, this one? No. No? No? We're going to leave We're gonna leave it at that, that, at that tramp stamp. Going on. Got it. All right. Good Good job, Jim. I, 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 I like it. I like it. I like it. I Keep it up. Made- and it just, like, went out of my head, and I blanked. <laughs> Yo! And Carlos Crick coming at us with this awesome Goku Black image. Like, dude, Goku Black is my guy. He's, like, my favorite Dragon Ball Super villain, just period. Um, And this interpretation of Goku Black with a... Goku style to his clothes, the, the the blue and the orange has me hyped. The freaking shading is awesome. That aura just blasting out. Oh my god! Like I, I love every single piece of this, every bit of it. Um, my vote, my vote for next week's art of the week. Just saying, just saying right there. Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't have a second in that, but I second that. Yeah, <laughs> I second that. I don't really get to say sure. either, Looks but like I still say, week. I don't get to say either, but I still sit there and decide I'm gonna I'm gonna you know call it out. <laughs> we, yeah. we get, I I never jump in. I, I <laughs> never on. Um, <laughs> yeah, Eric's the admin who uh, doesn't admin. <laughs> I you got to. Hot. No, I know, I know. You guys need to hire me. We need to hire you? You know, you say that. If Mel ever watches one of these videos, yeah. she might actually put you on. Uh-oh. But now, let's let's get back to the art here. Like, I want to talk about it because Carlos, from last week, his Goku that we reviewed, I, like I said, the, the, the colors were solid, the proportions were solid. And just like this, I don't know if you used a reference for this, like if this has been done before. I'm sure it has, but I think you rocked it out. And Goku Black with that pink hair, I'm a sucker for pink hair. I just, I don't know. I love it. Like you said, Art of the Week, hands down, in my opinion, for the oh, next yeah. week. I got to say, it's absolutely incredible. The contrast and all the colors, the fact that everything sticks out but doesn't overpower anything. Right, is, right. It, you look at everything in the picture and the aura done so well the facial expression is really getting to me is because it's different i absolutely love it it's not like your typical style this is what i love when i see fan art i want to see someone's actual interpretation of the fan art i don't want to see a carbon copy of the things we see on tv and this is awesome like this looks like it comes completely different artist book it's freaking great and 
yeah, you know, I, I wouldn't mind. I usually am not huge on, like, cr- clothing crossover, but this works freaking well, and I'd honestly, like, totally be down to see this, like, on the anime now. Or yeah. like, That's right? what I'm saying. Because, you know, they had Goku Black take over Goku's body when he was in his farmer clothes, which is, I don't know. I've never been a fan of Goku being a farmer, but... Neither is uh, he. Yeah, I neither is Goku he. as a farmer. What else is he supposed to be doing? I don't know. He's, Tournament he's money? <laughs> you know, saving the world money? Was he going to be working at McDonald's or something? Like, he didn't Come need on, money man. before. He needs to be farming. He's got, he's got a billionaire playboy philanthropist, you know, best friend named Bulma. Like, come on. That like, don't mean. That don't matter. That don't mean you quit. Like, like that don't mean you let somebody quit, else be. He's, he's a. Right he's a. Here, but it'd be not. like Bulma should be paying out that money. Like, oh, you saved the world. Like, you saved my hubby's life. Oh, you saved my son's life. Oh, you saved my future son's life. Here's all that money. Like, don't worry about working nah. for a living. Go train Go. so that you can protect the world. Go. Goku's a man's man, and he's gonna farm until the day he dies. And he's going to be listening to Jason Aldean on his big green tractor while he plucks them plums like he's doing it. <laughs> Dying for the third. For the third. Okay. All right. That's no, my little take on it. <laughs> Dude, I, I love this, man. Every single bit about it. Your shading, your coloring. The aura looks fantastic once again. And... <laughs> It it makes Goku Black look sadistic, and that's the way a villain should be. A villain should be evil and sadistic, and you should be able to tell it from the, just taking one quick glance at him. So, good job. Keep it up, man. Oh, shit. So, this next piece is from Mel Pitbull. The leader of the pack, Mel, coming out here with the Gohan. Mm-hmm. Gohan's giving that single hand kamehameha, that lighting on the hand. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. Look at the lighting on the hand. This woman needs more drama. Colors like no other. And she does it in colored pencil. I can't. I eat colored pencil. I don't Agreed. know how she does it. I don't know how she has the patience. Absolutely incredible. Mel, I wouldn't usually talk this good about you, but this piece here, this is the stuff. This is the stuff we need. I love it. And again, her own style, This the facial expression on Gohan is great. I absolutely love it. Ah. So I've been I've been waiting for her to post something for a while because I I feel like I haven't seen her art in a while, and ever since she did them realistic Pokemon cards, I've I've been a fan and I feel like she hasn't been giving me enough. So and I'm excited to see this and I have to see more. Oh Just man! Just from a little sparkles in the corner, I think it adds and it's perfect and rocks. No, I love it. I, I absolutely agree. Mel, you are one amazing artist. You're what brought this group together. Um, and it's because of artwork like this. Like, I know she had to kind of take a break. She had some stuff going on. And that's on her, you know. And we all love her. And she's been supporting everybody from the background where she Mel, can. I love you. But, Mel, you can't beat yourself up when this, this is her worst this is the her bad art that she's not happy with it because she feels rusty. And I'm like, this is beautiful. This is amazing. Like, not only is this one of my favorite scenes in all of Dragon Ball Z, Gohan Teen Gohan was my absolute guy. I loved him. I love this scene. I love this picture. I love the shading. Like Eric said, your coloring, the way you make the hand glow is fantastic. Mel, you do some amazing things with a piece of paper and a pencil. And you make everybody else in this art group better because you helped influence the love that goes 
into everybody else's stuff. Like, if and if it wasn't I, for her, I, I wouldn't I be doing this add, page. I have to add that she is a ride or die for other people's art. Like, the way she is stuck up for other people's art is amazing. And you need those type of people in your corner no matter what. Yep. Yeah, right. she loved my art piece. I post. I put out part. <laughs> the I posted my worst piece I've ever done the other day, <laughs> and my worst next to Mel first. It ain't a comparison. However, me and her still need to battle. I've known her. I, Mel's the person who brought me into any of the art pages at all. So I still need to do a challenge with her, Mel. When you have time, I'm open challenging you right now on the video. Oh, it got dropped. Oh, open challenge. She won't even watch this. <laughs> She's going to be like, no, nah, forget that dude. guy. And this week's artist of the week is Daniel Rios. And quite frankly, none of us really care. We're all tired. Bye. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, fine. We'll actually say something about Daniel's guts photo that won him Artist of the Week. So, quite frankly, I mean, this is a fantastic piece. We we already discussed how awesome an artist Daniel is. Um, what I really liked about this was the fact that it is a trade with one of our other artists. And, um, Andrea, Andrea, yeah. And the I like the fact that our artists are interacting with each other like that. That's a great thing. Needs to be more of a. There I should. want to do, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna double down. I'm gonna double down. Not only did I challenge Mel in this episode, if any artist on this page watches this and wants to do a tradesies. Let me know. Let's do it. We, we need to interact with the community. I'm an admin. I think it's a, my or my duty. So that's a deal. Let's do it, guys. Have you guys let's seen his art? Parts. Like his art is bomb. Like the stuff he does is like Bob Ross level good. So I do stuff. I do. Well, it's not about me right now. But anyway, if anybody <laughs> wants to do that, let's do it. But back to the guts piece. I honestly don't know anything about this at all. But I know it's freaking awesome. Like, it's hard for me to see something and be like, oh, I put that on my wall when I don't know anything about it. I would totally have this, like, next to some other art that's, like, action-based. Oh, yeah. I need to know more about this. Um, I, as far so as I know, I'm it's I'm going to bring a... up one thing because... What? I'm going to bring up one thing just because I know it was brought up about this picture, and it's the nipple. I think that's a really nice deep and <laughs> detailed nipple, and I think you Mel, killed Mel it. Loved and the big the sword in the back, I love it. That is the nicest yes. I've ever seen in my life. Facts. Facts. Oh, facts. That, that is a very realistic nipple right All there. Nipples, really? Daniel won. That, that, see, that's why. Yeah, Daniel, Daniel won for the because he showed the nipple. That's exactly how we got ours of the week. Yeah. Congratulations so, to Daniel and Apple. Yep. So, once and congratulations guys, to Andrea for getting a piece. Yeah. <coughs> Andrea, I, I hope you love hanging this up in your house with that nipple shining free for all to see. <laughs> but, so guys, once oh, again, yeah. another great episode. I love talking to you guys. These guys are some awesome artists. Like I said, make sure to check them out. Check Austin out at Self Induced. Make sure to check out Eric at Broken Arted Studio. Check me out, Little Casino Channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Um, and guys, once again, if you are not part of the Global Geek Art page on Facebook, make sure to join us. All right, we have awesome artists. We do this stuff every single week, and I like to get to the point where there's so many artists. I got to do this a couple of times. So, you know, make us have to work for a living. <laughs> so, guys, right. anything else Peace, you want to add before we close it up today? Peace, love, and bubblegum. You guys love are bubble awesome. Gum. I enjoyed myself.
as a do. Um, I just wanted to reiterate my uh, statements I've made tonight, and uh, Mel, I challenge you, and I want to uh, I want to do a tradesies with random artists on here. So let's do something fun. You heard it here first from All the right. source. This is it. It's about to go down. Shots fired. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Have a good one. See ya. Hey, guys. Future Brand here. If you guys haven't hit that like and subscribe button, check it down below. Also, make sure to subscribe it up above. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, see ya. <laughs> that was fun.